Hello. Here, I'm working on a program that will allow me to fly, or at least adjust the height of this tele-drone using my hand against an ultrasonic rangefinder connected to a Raspberry Pi. And I've got some work to do. It's a bit laggy and unreliable, but you can get the general sense that when I raise my hand, it goes up, and when I lower my hand, it goes down. So let's look at the Python code that does that. On the right, you see PyCharm, which I often use to develop Python programs. On the left, you see the VNC viewer, and it's connected to the Raspberry Pi. And I'm showing you this so that you can see the output from one of the runs. And I'll refer to this in a moment. Back to PyCharm. Okay, so the drone control code is based on the same code that I showed in the last video. Um, okay, so we import this GPIO library to make it easier to interface with things connected to the pins on the Raspberry Pi. And then we import a couple of functions from time and then the Tello class from the Tello module, and then logging, and then I turn on logging, and then set up the mode for the pins on the Raspberry Pi. And then I'm using pins 23 and 24. If you look closely at the picture you see earlier, you can see those pins. And then I set up the, well, I guess I should say first that the Ultrasonic rangefinder has four pins, power and ground and trigger and echo. And when you um, set the high voltage on the trigger pin, then it blasts out eight pulses of ultrasonic um, waves, sound waves. And then um, on the echo pin, it signals that when the echo has come back. So we set up the trigger for output and the echo for input. And then we lower the trigger. We set that to false and wait a moment. Um, then we create the Tello object so we can communicate with the Tello. And then the uh, you saw my hand moving up and down. It works within this range of um, distances from the rangefinder from four centimeters to 25 centimeters and this you could change these to various things when i move my hand closer than four centimeters it, the program will land the drone and anything outside this range is just ignored and then when we take off the drone goes up to some certain height i don't know what it is but i'm saying that it's uh, 50 um, in the middle of some imagined range that the, that we're going to move the thing in. Um, so we take off, and then we start the main loop. And then this code really should, I should move it to another method, but this finds the distance between the rangefinder and my hand. Now, if the distance is less than the maximum, then we do things. Otherwise, we just ignore the distance because maybe my hand is not there or it's too far away. And then if the distance is less than the hand minimum, then we break, which causes us to fall out of this loop, and then we land. Otherwise, the hand is within that range, and we then make a number between 0 and 1 here. That's what this does. Hand gets set to between 0 and 1, which is where in the range the hand is. Then we print that. So now we can look at these numbers over here. So that's what we're seeing. 0 0.72 means my hand was 72 one hundredths of the way up to the top of the range. And then um, we calculate the desired height. So let's say the maximum height is 100. My hand is at 0.72, the desired height would become 72. 
And then um, we find the difference between the what we think the height is now and the desired height. And then we issue an up command um, to go by that amount. But we're rounding um, in multiples of 20 centimeters. Then we sleep a tenth of a second and then go on. That's how the program works.